Hi YouTube, it's Crystal and I am back here today to go over my hair routine uh, for natural hair that has been flat ironed. Now normally I don't uh, flat iron my hair. The joke is I've actually only flat, this is the first time I've actually flat ironed my hair myself. Normally I would go to my hairdresser for her to flat iron it to give me that silky yaki that I'm looking for. Christmas is nearing and it is poor time aka gift time. So I don't have any extra money really to be providing to the hairdresser at this time so I decided to give it a whirl and I'm pretty happy with the result. It's a little frizzy now because I just came back from outside and I had on my winter hat for these cold days in Canada but otherwise it came out pretty good. So I'll just go over some of the tools that I use to achieve this look and some of the tips I have in terms of keeping your natural hair from reverting back to curly while you have it flat iron. All right, so the first thing is first, I washed, conditioned, pre-pooed, and deep conditioned my hair. So if you do want to see any of the products that I use to do those things, uh, you can definitely go ahead and check the link below and I'll have a link to my hair regimen so you can see what types of products I'm working with. Um, after I rinse my hair out, um, what I do then is I towel dry my hair since I'm not worried about any frizz and I let my hair sort of air dry for maybe 20 minutes or so so that reduces the amount of heat that I'm using in my hair. Um, after that I do blow dry. I'll show you my blow dryer. I've showed it before but it is the Solia uh, Professional Thermal Dryer right here and I use this to blow dry my hair. I use it on the highest heat um, because I don't really have time to sit around with it on a minimal heat. I just want to get it blow dried and as quickly as possible. I just don't want to sit around. So some people, I mean it's your discretion, it's your hair, use it at the temperature that you like but I use it at the highest temperature to get it done because I have a thick hair. I'll actually insert a picture right here so that you can see what my hair looks like when it is blown out. A lot of work. So before I go ahead and um, do everything, of course I separate my hair. I don't think I did say that, but I do separate my hair off in sections. And I have been using my It's a 10 to detangle. It also says it is a heat protector, so I use it mostly to detangle and add some moisture back to my hair. But I do also use actual heat protectant for my hair just to make sure now that I'm trying to take really good care of my hair. Um, I use the Tresemme uh, Thermal Creations protectant. So I just spray that all over and I also will put in my leave-in conditioner right then to lock in the moisture and that's my Oyen Honey Hemp that I add. Now beware to use this sparingly because the first ingredient within this is actually water and that's what I prefer for anything I use so it does sort of revert your hair a little back to the curly but again I just want the moisture locked in. So after that what I do Everything's been separated. I blow dry it. Then I'll start and separate my hair again. I flat iron with my FHI flat iron. Now this thing is ancient. Uh, it is a ceramic one. It's probably one of the like first ceramics that started to come out back in the day. Like I've had this for at least five or six years, something like that. I've had it for a really long time. Like I, I was thinking about retiring it and getting a new one, but I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And of course, I rarely ever use it. So, you know, I'm just keeping it till it, it stops working essentially. So till the wheels fall off, this is the flat iron I use. And as you see, I believe it's one inch or so, but this is enough for me. Maybe eventually I'll get one uh, that has a, a thicker barrel. Mm -hmm which will speed up the work of course. Um, once I've done that, I actually do keep my, I probably will take up maybe an inch or so of my hair and then start from the base and work my way to the end. I, most of the heat, I make sure to distribute it at the actual roots because that's the part, the part, oops, the part that reverts the quickest for me and the ends of course is the oldest hair on your head so you don't want to have so much heat passing through your ends over and over again to save your ends. Your ends is the most delicate part of your hair so that's what I do. I'll probably pass 
it through once or twice and usually it's okay from there. Um, when I am um, going ahead and flat ironing, I add some of my argan oil, which I don't really know where it is. My props are all over the place, but I use my Josie Moran argan oil, which is also in my hair regimen. So if you need to actually see the picture of that, you could go ahead and, and click that video at the end. But I use my argan oil and I distribute it at the end. I really like argan oil because it's not heavy and it makes the hair feel silky. And it's just nice overall. And with flat ironing, you do not want your hair to feel heavy or weighed down with products. That is a no-no with natural hair. I feel like I've sort of gone over everything in terms of what I did to achieve the look. But in terms of maintenancing my hair, um, I use a couple things. So detangling it uh, on a regular basis, I will go ahead and use my Denman brush if I need to detangle. Because my hair is flat though, I do use my paddle brush. And it's just a, fat, a paddle brush I got from Follica when I ordered um, my hair dryer. I think it came in a kit. So I mean, of course, this is just a basic one. You can find this at Sally's or Walmart or really any beauty supply. Nothing crazy, but that's what I use just to go through and, and get any snags or anything like that out. Also, I do in terms of when I am showering, I make sure to use my silk bonnet um, a towel. So this is just, of course, like a, a regular face towel. I wrap it around my silk bonnet and then I put my shower cap on and that prevents the steam of the showering from going in my hair and of course reverting it. So I think that's a big tip. I've never really seen people mention that as a tip. Maybe it's just something people don't do or do, but I find that a big tip. Definitely putting that in and it prevents the steam from getting into your hair. So makes it last a little longer. Um, in terms of oils and deep condition or oils and conditioner, I do put sparing amounts of my conditioner in and I may use a different conditioner um, a little bit and mostly what I do is I use my Minoy oil because um, again it's coconut oil and, and different uh, ingredients within it but I find that it makes the hair very silky and shiny and and again just a little dime size is all you need because you do not want to weigh the hair down so this really is good also at night to get the curls and the bump at the end I use my curl formers these are just some cheap ones from the beauty supply store essentially and I use this um, to keep my curls so I don't have to go ahead and reapply any heat or anything like that to my hair again so these are very effective actually um, that like by the time when I feel like my hair is pretty much on the out and out if I'm working out I'll put up my hair and wrap it but if I feel like my hair is just done, like kaput did it, I just chuck it up in one and I'll use my Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfecting Edges. It's a pomade, so I'll show you how to open it. It's a pomade here and pretty much unlike gel, which would revert my hair right back to curly, this, it just lays the hair flat and keeps it up really nice. I'm actually quite impressed by this little product, like amazing. I put my mom on it and a couple friends on it. It's definitely a good look in terms of your hair this edge is edge control so that's pretty much what I do to maintain my hair um, while it is flat iron of course now I, just like perm folks I run away from any rain um, any heat any you know crazy heat that's just how I keep it but you know I usually keep it for two weeks and then wash it out and and do it again whenever I feel like it so that's pretty much how it goes um, I mean in terms of that that's all I have to say on that if you do have any questions or comments or anything you feel like I missed out definitely go ahead and leave that down below and remember of course just to rate and subscribe to my videos I hope that you have a really good day bye